Hello everyone and welcome to Travelize. Berlin, the capital city of Germany, is one of the busiest metropolises of today's time. There are many iconic places to visit in Berlin that brings to life each and every page of world history. Here are 10 touristy gems in Berlin you must put on your list to have a great vacation experience. Please stay tuned until the end for a bonus special destination. Are you ready to start this journey? So let's get started. This video is sponsored by Well Traveled, compression packing cubes for travel. Link in the description. Number 10, Brandenburg Gate. Built in the late 1700s, the Brandenburg Gate is the only surviving city gate of Berlin. The gate is in the western part of Berlin and marks the entrance to Unter den Linden. Used as one of the Berlin Wall crossings, the gate became a site of protest during the division of Germany and a place of celebration when the wall fell in 1989. The gate was severely damaged in World War II and underwent extensive renovation in the early 2000s. Today, it is fully restored and is the symbol of not only the turbulent history of the region, but also the reunification of East and West Berlin. Number 9. Charlottenburg Palace if you like touring palaces, then don't miss the Charlottenburg Palace. This is the largest palace in Germany, and it is found in Berlin's City West District. Charlottenburg Palace was constructed at the end of the 17th century, and the entire community of Charlottenburg grew around it. Built in the Baroque style and boasting beautiful gardens and outdoor sculptures, the palace is now open to the public. You can tour restored rooms and see the extravagant Rococo style in the apartments of Frederick the Great. And you can also see collections of porcelain, crown jewels, and royal silver. Number 8. Trep Tower Park Alongside the River Spree south of central Berlin, you'll find Trep Tower Park. If you're interested in World War II history, then the park is a must-see destination in Berlin. The park is home to a large military cemetery as well as the enormous Soviet War Memorial that was built in 1949 to commemorate the Soviet soldiers who fell in the Battle of Berlin. There are a number of plates set around the park, each of which memorializes certain battles. Beyond the historical significance, Trep Tower Park is an awesome place to walk along the paved pedestrian pathways, rent a rowboat for some time on the water, or just have a drink in the park's beer garden. Number 7. Berlin Cathedral There are many wonderful churches to see in Berlin, but the Berlin Cathedral is the largest and one of the most impressive. It was built at the start of the 20th century as a way to express the imperial power of Germany. The brick Neo-Renaissance Cathedral is located in the area of Museum Island in the district of Midi. The enormous organ is a major point of pride in the cathedral and it is still used for religious services. If you visit, you can climb to the top of the dome and enjoy views from the cathedral after touring the interior. Number 6. Pergamum Museum In Berlin's Museum in Seoul, you'll find the fascinating Pergamum Museum. The whole museum is named for the Pergamon Altar, which is one of its most valued attractions on display. The Pergamon Museum is the most visited art museum in Germany and it boasts an incredible collection of antiquities and treasures. Touring the museum is a way to bring the ancient world to life. Some of the most notable attractions in the Pergamon include the Ishtar Gate of Babylon, the Mashat facade from a desert castle in Jordan, and the Roman Market Gate of Miletus, which dates back to the 2nd century. Number 5. 
Holocaust Memorial. Near the Brandenburg Gate, the Holocaust Memorial is a simple but powerful tribute to the Jews that died as a result of Hitler's extermination plan. The 2,711 slabs are arranged in a wave-like pattern over 205,000 square feet. Each stone is unique, varying from ankle high to over six feet tall. The paths between the slabs undulate with the overall effect being one of instability and disorientation. There is no set pattern and visitors may walk in any direction through the peaceful, quiet stones. At the base of the memorial, an underground information center offers information and personal stories of people affected by the actions of the Nazi party. Number four, Victory Column. The Siegesaya, or Victory Column, was built toward the end of the 19th century in celebration of several Prussian military triumphs. The column originally stood in front of the Reichstag but was moved to the middle of Tiergarten by the Nazi government as part of a major urban redevelopment plan. At the very top of the column is an angelic winged figure that represents Victoria, the Roman goddess of victory. At the top of the victory column is an observation deck that allows for panoramic views over the city. There's just one catch, there is no elevator. If you're feeling up for it, take the 285 steps to get to the top. Number three, Berlin TV Tower. Located near the Alexander Plaza is the Berlin TV Tower, better known to the locals as the Berliner Fernsehturm. This tower is the tallest structure in all of Germany, and its observation deck offers an incredible vantage point for amazing views over much of the city. The Berlin TV Tower was built in the 1960s, and it is one of the most significant mid-century modern buildings in Germany. At the time of its construction, it was also a true engineering marvel. Just below the main observation deck, there is an upscale restaurant where you can enjoy the view with a drink or a full meal. Number two, Oberbaum Bridge. The Oberbaumbrücke or Oberbaum Bridge spans the Spree River. The bridge is two stories high and it links the districts of Friedrichshain and Kreuzberg. It ties together the former East Germany with the West, making it a historically significant as well as architecturally beautiful structure. The Oberbaum Bridge is one of the most photographed landmarks in the whole city. It's a sign of unity, a way to bridge the east and the west in the once divided Berlin. You can cross the bridge on foot, but the best views are further along the spree from either side of the river. Number one, German Historical Museum. The German Historical Museum, also known as the Dutch's Historisches Museum, is a fantastic place to visit if you want to see what Germans have been up to for the past two millennia. The museum covers all of German history up until the present day, and exhibits are laid out in a way that is easy to understand and highly entertaining. The museum is housed in two adjacent buildings. The more traditional armory or Zeichhaus and the modern exhibition ball designed by I.M. Pei. You can browse through posters from World War II, see maps from the 19th century, or admire contemporary sculpture done by modern German artists. Bonus! Kurfürstendamm Kurfürstendamm, known to locals as Kadam, was built as a German answer to the Champs-Élysées in Paris. The wide road was lined with trees and ornate buildings were built along both sides. It is the heart of former West Berlin and is still the city's most popular shopping boulevard. The side streets of Talitzinstrasse and Fasanenstrasse are lined with malls and high-end flagship stores. If you're in the area, be sure to check out Kadawi or the Cap House de Westerns. This is the largest department store in all of Europe and it boasts virtually anything you might want to purchase from expensive shoes to fresh produce. 
we've run through some of the best places to visit in Berlin, including its historical sites and attractions. Are you ready to explore the sprawling city of almost 4 million inhabitants based on my experience of living on and off in the city since 2008? As Germans say, Los Gets! We certainly hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments which of these wonderful treasures you will see while in Berlin if you want to see more videos like this one.